Hi, everybody. It's old lip luck no more. <laughs> it is sunny but very, very cold here in north central Arkansas this morning, darlings. But we haven't had a yard stroll in a long time, it feels like. So I thought I'd get get us outside. Look at the red bud budding. How about that? Spring is on the way. Sorry about the traffic noise. Spring's right around the corner. So, what's old Liplock gonna talk about today? Well, that's what I've been pondering. I've been watching quite a bit on YouTube and oh guys good grief okay so before I came outside I was listening to my beautiful friend Angel talks too fast she did a less than 30 minute live stream she needed to address something important to her but I've been hearing about and listening to the last few days a number of live streams from people who didn't really seem to have anything of any particular importance to say to anyone except themselves, I guess. Um, it's hard for me to... <sighs> Guys, this is going to be super rambling. Very, very loose and very rambling, okay? Now. I was talking to Bob before I grabbed my phone and hit record about my feelings about what's going on on YouTube. I'm trying to think how I phrased it to him that it seemed like it seems like so many of the channels that started because of Summer Wells' disappearance have turned into gossip monger, mongering. I, I'm trying to think how to say things without being ugly. I said to Bob that it seems like that if people don't have, by people I mean creators on YouTube, that if there's nothing new that has happened in any particular case they're working, then they start attacking other people, mostly other creators. And of late, what I've noticed is all of a sudden a bunch of people putting up personal communications like texts and instant messages and stuff between them and other people. Private communications. And then doing their best to whip up a frenzy in the viewers to um, <sighs> I, <sighs> it's like they have no content so they're just gonna make content out of 
dredging up some stuff. Uh, I and it seems like a lot of the look. There are a lot of people on YouTube that talk about summer wells that actually live in Northeast Tennessee, or they live right there. And I didn't know that. I don't know these people. I mean, I know one person that lives right there, like actually, you know, in contact with our confidential source. But like these different ones, there's people that they think they know who my source is. And one person yesterday said, that a certain person has been talking to me and I guess they think that's my source. Well, yeah, that lady has been talking to me. She reached out to me on instant messenger. And, and yeah, I, I guess she reached out to some other creators, but she's not my confidential source. You, you, folks, you y'all are going on YouTube and just making stuff up. So I was saying to Bob, I need to take my viewers on a a garden stroll, a yard stroll. I mean, and uh, I said so. I'm I'm thinking about you know what to talk about. Because there's nothing to talk about, you know, with summer. And uh, I don't want to, you know, you guys are up to date on Bob's injury. And on the yard strolls, you know, I don't have my notes or PC in front of me. We just walk around and I talk. And he said, well, honey, talk about what, you know, say something about, you know, tell, tell creators they need to get back on track. Tell them they, they need to stop gossiping and, and causing problems for people. And tell them, uh, get back on track, get focused on on summer or whatever case you're working and I said well baby it'll fall on deaf ears because the people I said honey my viewers know that I don't need to tell my viewers they're that they they feel that way that they don't like it when people do this business that that's one reason they watch me because I don't do much of it and I said, honey, I, I know you've had situations in your lifetime to where you knew that you wanted to give a a message to folks and, and say, look, come on now, let's let's get let's get back on track here. I said, but honey, usually the people that need to hear that are the ones that won't listen. Right? And he nodded his head. Yeah. Yeah. So, darlings, I, I don't have any hopes that I'm going to say anything at all here that's going to make another creator stop it. Just stop it. L look. If you don't have news uh, or a new idea about a case you're covering, don't go on that day. Your, your viewers aren't going to abandon you because you're not on a day or two. You can make a video or you can make you a community post that lets your viewers know, uh, hey, I'm going to rest a day or two. And you know, creators, if any other creators see this, honeys, what they'll do is they'll say, hey, 
You go get you a rest, and we'll be here when you come back. And they are. They will. They'll do it for you. Or you can, if you talk about, um, okay, like with me, for example. Uh, not that I would say to use what I do as a, uh, look, it's just an idea. I'm not saying this is how you do it. I'm saying this is how I do it. Look here what I'm doing. I'm just walking around looking at trying to find pretty things to show people that watch my channel that can't get outside and just chatting with them letting them know I'm here and I love them right and then on other days you can research topics that are associated with what you do. For example, if you talk about the disappearance of summer wells, well, you can talk to your audience about uh, statistics of missing children in the United States. You can educate your viewers on um, uh, facts. You know, go to reliable sources. Um, go to the Department of Justice website. I'm sorry, guys, it's trash day. And here comes the trash truck. <laughs> it's going to be noisy for a second. But um, look up facts about that are related to what you talk about, your primary topic. Anything, any avenue that's related. How does law enforcement handle it? What are procedures? Um, do you feel me, kids? I have lilacs coming. See the lilac buds? And you can educate your audience on so many related topics. Help your audience understand what's happening in the world. Not what you think is ha I mean, yes, what you think is happening, but give them facts and then give them an opinion based on those facts. It's hard. <sighs> Darlings, there is no new news regarding the disappearance of Summer Wells. So I'm asking, and I know y'all don't, other creators, you're going to do what you're going to do regardless. Okay. You're going to do what you're going to do, all of you.
you lash out, you say mean, ugly things. You record people without them knowing and put it on public blast. Share your personal private messages from other people. I'm almost ashamed to be on YouTube, but I made Summer Moon Utah Wells a promise. I made my viewers a promise. I made God a promise, and I intend to keep it. I just wish y'all would either get real or get off of YouTube. Take your gossip back to Facebook where it belongs. Well, you won't. You won't. Like I said to my hubby, anything I would say, any ears that actually need to hear it, will attack me in a video on YouTube later today. I love my subs. I love my viewers. And I love Summer Moon Utah Wells. period.